Well, I've been in this uh, same shop here since uh, I was old enough to walk. My dad built this place in the 40s. You know, he, he taught me about 98% of what I know. Um, I guess what interested me early on was anytime he forged metal, anytime he cranked up the forge and the coal, and uh, I think it interests a lot of people having the fire and, and working iron in the fires. It's uh, we're sort of like bugs to a light. And you stare at something for so long, after a while you don't really appreciate it, I think, sometimes. It's hard to see. All I see is the mistakes. If I don't see it for a year later, I'll come back to it and then I can appreciate it. I go, wow, all right, that's pretty good. I, could, you know, I like the way that came out. I, I would always focus on my smithing and practice and try to get as good as I can. And when, when that happens, it's one of those sort of circles, I think. It's like a, it's some sort of irony that you get away from what you actually like doing because your business grows, you take on people, you take on bigger work. Next thing you know, you're not even doing what you like doing. I, I try to create something that's uh, beautiful. I want it to be beautiful and uh, I feel that that's what I have to contribute and that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs>